Right, here we go. Our driving as an expert room. Now, this is a game which it's got the perfect name really, it's never been a game that's been so aptly named hard driving it is bloody hard driving in fact it's impossible driving it's complete bitch control apparently it's a revolutionary driving uh, simulator according to the game developers? bollocks is it it's got a good, good 3D wireframe graphics uh, I mean, it's pretty impressive the Spectrum could do this but unfortunately whereas the arcade game could you know do the 3D effects. They can actually do it with a bit of speed and this is just so slow and unresponsive, it's unbelievable. You see this? I mean it's like driving on bloody ice with a brick. In fact I think this is the only game you could probably drive better if you're completely pissed. Now I haven't got any booze at home at the moment, so I'm not gonna go down the offie either to fetch some uh, booze and try it out but pretty convinced if uh, you're pissed you'd have a better chance of succeeding. Here we go, off the beaten track again. Now unlike most car games where you, you steer left and you, you move left and you let go and it centres, this game doesn't. You have to Continuously adjust your your uh, direction you're going now because the frame rate is so unbelievably slow. Lining up with objects like this bloody bridge here, where well, it's it's a bloody effort and a half. Here we go. Watch this. Watch this. There's a bridge. There's a bridge. There's a fence. Smack. Fucking obvious. Now the good thing is you get instant replays, so you can really relive your uh, the misery really. I mean, it's pretty impressive. This reminds me a bit of a uh, stunts and 4D sports driving. This is uh, on the uh, Amiga and the PC. I don't know if uh, the same people have anything to do with it. Possibly, I don't know. Here we go. Here we go. This time, just 60 mile an hour. Keep 60 mile an hour up. Done it. Fucking a woo go. We're gonna make it. Gonna make it. No fucking hit something. Brilliant. Duke's Hazard, uh, just like Duke's Hazard, don't it? So it's their car, their General Lee never fell pieces, didn't it, when it landed? Here we go again. Another thing that hinders your ability, and if the game wasn't hard enough already, is that. Yeah, oh, here we go. But you, you just get, get, get the car continues to accelerate, you just can't help it, and it's. Oh, it's just fucking hopeless. Go around and try to line up with a loop loop. Now this is a pretty impre impressive uh, programming feat for Spectrum. I mean, but oh, look how, how annoying it is just trying to line up. I mean, the frustration. Here come, here we go, smack into some cunt. Now most games you don't have people coming the other way. They're normally one way, but not in this game. What was that guy doing anyway? Apparently, the point of the game is to race anyway around the circuit. And then take on some some guard, like Bob Cowgees or somebody. Uh, he's an expert stunt driver on the stunt circuit, which I'm on here now. Good luck if you can do it. Oh, I've never been able to beat the bugger. At least I can do. Have a go at this. Look at this. Almost done it. Ah, that time. <laughs>